Twelve percent of x is equal to three g. Ma'am, why did you do twelve percent of x? Hmm. I'll tell you. Uh, can you read the question? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Uh. First uh, question, was, First question was very much clear to you that you yes, got uh, the correct one. Yes. If in a stick of chalk, carbon is 3G, what is the weight of the chalk stick? Okay, just a minute. Huh? Okay. So now, in the first one, I hope you got it, right? How to find the 12th person, right? This was for the chalk, right? Now, the question says, the question says, if in a stick of chalk, carbon is 3 gram, what is the weight of chalk stick, right? So this is a stick, right? And in this, the so, sorry, this was for carbon, right? This is a stick and in this you have, 3 gram of carbon, right? Okay, 3 gram of this is fine. Is this fine? You got the question? Yes? Ma nice one. Hmm. So, first of all, what you will write? You will write quantity of carbon in a chalk stick. Equals to 3 gram. Yes? Yes, ma'am. So, let the, let the weight of the chalk be x gram. Right? Let the weight of the chalk stick be x gram. Fine? Let's just take its x. Now, over here, 12 percentage, 12 percentage of chalk. See, this is 3 gram they have given, right? But when we find the percentage, we found that it is 12%, right? So, in this, see, the total is this, the chalk one, right? 12% of this is carbon. Getting the point? In the entire slip of chalk, right? 12% is what? Carbon. Yes or carbon. no? Yes. yes that's why you are doing 12% of X, which is chalk stick. And what they have given? They have given this, it is equal to 3 gram, right? This 12% yes. is equal to 3 gram. And after that, you will solve. Getting it now? Yes, ma'am. Now solve it and tell me. Okay, ma'am.
the answer is 25. Okay. Now, yes, so now you did the next one. Uh, the Amina book, we did in the class, na? Amina book one? Yes or no? 25 gram, right? Uh, yes, 25 gram is for the chalk one. And after this also, I gave you one more question, na? which is this Amina buy a book. Yes, ma'am. You did that? Ma this one? Uh, that was kind of the same, so I couldn't. Good evening, Kasi. You ever unable to do this? Amina buy. Sorry, ma'am. No, no, nothing, nothing. I'm just asking. Uh, Naisha. Yes, tell me, Naisha. It went fast. I didn't read the full question. I thought it was the same. Okay, so now every both of you, you will do the eighth question. Okay, right. And then we will start with these three and then we are done with this chapter. This, I need to teach you the a principal amount and everything. Fine? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, we have to do 9, 10, 11. No, no, 8th one. 8th one? Okay. Ma'am, you break the 9, 10, 11. Okay. After this, we will do this. Okay, ma'am. Good evening, guys. How are you? <laughs> He's not trying to the audio.
Hello, ma'am. Good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening, ma'am. You're fine now. No, ma'am. My 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 health is still a little bit. Uh, I still have a little bit fever, ma'am. Okay, so you are taking the precautions and the medicine. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you are recovering, right? Or it's like not. No, ma'am. It's better than yesterday, ma'am. Okay. Yesterday was a lot more. Okay. So now, ah, uh, we are at the end of this chapter. Like we are only left with one topic. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So what you can yes. do, you can just have. You can be in the class and you can just learn this last topic, right? Because I'll be starting yes, from the basics for this topic, right? So everybody is doing this one. They just wait for two more minutes and then I'll start with the new topic. Okay. Yes, Done. Everybody is done. Tashin, you are also done. No. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sorry, my uh, mic wasn't working. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. So, what do you people got for this? Ma'am, please forty one point two five. Ma'am, forty one point two five. Yeah. What's the loss? What you have to find? Forty one point two five was the loss. Yes. yes. Mm hmm. Wait, wait. Uh, can I uh, just take a second to uh, find the? Yes. Yes. So first of all, what you have to find, you have to find the loss. Yeah, ma'am, I found the loss. Is it four three seven zero? No, 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 no. Calculation mistake. Uh, what you got, Naisha? For loss. Three hundred sixty-five. Three hundred sixteen. Sorry, you are not audible. Is it three hundred sixteen point two five? No, no. Okay, I'm giving you two more minutes. Quickly solve it, and then I will do this question. Fine. Okay. 
Ma'am, is it four three zero zero? Ma'am. Yes. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Is it two? Uh, is it four three zero zero? Ah, uh, uh, no. Uh, don't worry. I'll do it. Don't worry. Okay. Yes. Ma'am, is the answer 316.25? No. <laughs> what do you people are doing? Are not you, are not you, you doing 15% of 275 first? Ma'am, loss is equal to CP minus SP. But where is the SP? You have to first, you have to find the SP. For that you need loss. Because loss percentage is given to you, but loss is not given to you. So what you will do? 15% of 275 first? Because CP was 275, right? In that, you got 15% of loss. So from that, you will get the loss, right? And after that, you will put in the formula that SP equals to CP minus loss. You will get the SP. Ma'am, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, is the answer 400? Four, zero, zero? Near about, but not 40. <laughs> Uh, okay, should I do this? No, 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 ma'am. We'll try one more time. Okay, SP we'll equal to CP minus loss. Ma'am, is it 4500? Zero, zero? No. Four, three, about three. Four, zero, no? <laughs> uh, ma'am, SP yes. is equal to loss plus CP, right? No, no, no. SP equals to, sorry. SP equals to CP minus loss. Oh <laughs> Oh Ma'am, I can't find the answer. Ma'am, is it 376.25? Sorry? Is it 276.35? No, how, how are you people getting so many different answers? What are you doing? <laughs> Ma'am, is it 234.25? Uh, okay. No. Ma'am, two seventy five minus forty one point two five, right? Okay, wait a minute. I'm doing this. Is it fine? Yes, ma'am. That's fine. Stop writing it. Your and... screen is not visible. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. Just a minute. Actually, I I had a power cut, and you know now I got the light, so I just need to switch to my Wi-Fi. <laughs> wait a minute. Ma'am, how are you doing without your Wi-Fi? Uh, no, no, I just opened the hotspot basically. Oh, I, was sitting on the, I was sitting on different room, so oh. uh, that's why. So now I came to the another room. So the, over there is a win, uh, Wi Fi inverter is there. So now your power came back now? Yes. No, no, a power didn't came back, but I shifted to another room. I was just waiting that, you know, the power will come, but it didn't come, so I just need to switch to some other room. 
I was in the front row. Hundred fifty-three point seven five. Uh, sorry, sorry. Can you please repeat? Two hundred and thirty-three point seven five. Yes. Finally, somebody Ready. got the answer. <laughs> okay. Just forget about everything. I'm doing it here. Have a look. Understand yeah. how loss is equal to CP minus loss. I mean, okay. SP is equal to CP minus loss. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I'll do it. Right? CP is given. What is your CP? 275, right? Is it? Yes, ma'am. Right. And what was your loss percentage? I'm 15%. Ma'am, my loss percentage was 15. So, what you will do? 15% of 275, right? So, it would be 15 by 100 multiplied by 275. Mm -hmm. Yes. When you will solve this, right, what you will get? 41.25. Yeah. 41.25. 41.25. Right? This is what you got. Now, Ma uh, and... how, like how we got uh, the decimal because if you <laughs> can't divide it, you can just use the two zeros to I'll put tell the you, I'll tell you. When you will multiply 15 with 25, you will get 4125. Fine? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, uh, let's do it like this. 4125. Okay. Divided by 100. Yes. So, whenever in the decimal, in the, sorry, in the numer uh, denominator, you have the zeros. Right? You put the decimal. There are two zeros. So, after two numbers, you will put the decimal. Fine? In case if the question is like this, 4125 by 10. If there is a 10, so your answer would be 412.5. Yes? In case if your answer is like this, 4.25 divided by 1000. So how many zeros are there? Three zeros. So you will put after three numbers. Fine? Yes, ma'am. Right? But in case if it is like this, 2.4 divided by 10. Right? So you will shift this number one time. If it is 100, you will shift it two times. Like this. Fine? So, over here, there was two zeros in the decimal and it is only possible for 10, 100, 1000 like this. It is not, for example, if it is 4125 divided by 200, it is not possible. It is only possible with 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 like this. Fine? Yes, ma'am. That's why you got, your answer was 41.25. Clear? Now, you have to find the SP, right? C. In the previous question which we did yesterday, it was CP. And over there, you were getting the profit, right? So, for example, you bought it for 10 rupees, okay? And you incurred 5 rupees profit. So, you will add it, yes? And your SP would be 15 rupees, yes? But the same situation, you have to find the selling price. You bought it for 10 rupees, but you faced the loss of 2 rupees. So, what you will do from this, you will subtract. Loss means minus. So, that means you sold it at 8 rupees. Fine. So, over here in this question, what you were facing? You were facing the loss? Yes or no? Yes. So, that's why your selling price would be CP minus loss. Your CP is? Tell me. Your uh, CP is? The CP is equal to uh, rupees 275. Yes. 275 minus 41.25. So, what you will get after solving this, you will get 233.75, right? 233.75, this is your SP. You got it how, why I wrote this SP minus loss, CP minus loss. Yes? Ma. Fine with everybody? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you can quickly note it up and then we are going to move to the new concept today. Okay? Ma. Uh, for finding loss, uh, the formula is SP uh, minus, uh, sorry, CP minus SP. Yes. Uh, so, if you write it in that way, 41.25 is equal to 27, uh, 275. I was adding by mistake. If we mm -hmm. shift it that side, so it will go 41.25 plus 275. So, over here, you have to not use this formula. Loss would be, your loss would be this. SP minus CP. 
not CP minus SP. Why? Because, see, whoever is greater, from that you subtract the smaller one. Right? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So over here in the loss, which one is greater? SP or CP? Yes, CP. Yes. So that's why CP is greater or SP in loss? Sorry, sorry. SP, SP. Yes. So you will SP. do it like this. Fine? SP. Okay. Oh, yeah. I hope everybody got it. See, just remember one thing. The cost price and the selling price. Right? So if you have to find selling price. So from the cost price, you will subtract it, right? So that you get the selling price, right? And over here, the cost price over here is, and when you have to find the uh, SP, the profit, just add in the CP. That means you are getting the profit, fine? Fine, fine. No. This one profit is SP minus CP, right? Yes. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so I hope everyone got it. Now, yes, let's just start with a fresh topic. First, just write down few formulas. Okay, so the yes, first formula which you which you have to write is oh, sorry, which you have to write is for simple interest. Simple interest. Okay, the skies you will also note it down. Okay, this is a new topic. Okay, simple interest would be. P multiplied by R multiplied by T. Fine. P multiplied by R multiplied by T divided by 100. Principal multiplied by, uh, principal multiplied by, ma'am, what is R? Mm -hmm. Tell me. What is R? What is R? Rate. rate per annum. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Right? Hmm. Principal into uh, rate into time. Yes. So over P here, here, you will write P equals to principal. And R equals to rate and T equals to time. Okay, fine. And remember one thing, the spelling for principle is PL. Okay, fine. Yes, ma'am. Okay, yeah. now hmm. when you have to find, this is the first formula and then when you have to find the total amount, okay. At that time, whenever you have to find the amount, at that time, what you will do? Any idea? Principal, whatever your principal plus simple interest. Fine. P plus SI, which is your simple interest. So over here, P is your principal and SI is your simple interest. Fine. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Right? Hmm. Quickly note it up and then I will give you few other things. Okay? Ma'am, after the chapter ends, can we discuss what chapter we can learn next? Yes. Once we are done with this, we will discuss it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the, uh, this class I will take and next class I will take your test for comparing quantities and then we can start. Fine? Yes, yes. Okay, done with writing the formulas? Ma'am, when we take the test? Uh, in the next class. Okay, ma'am. Okay, everybody is done? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now I think you can do this one. Right. Whenever you have to find the rate, rate would be given like this. P dot A. What is this P dot A? It is per annum. Okay. Fine. So rate, whenever you have to find, it will be written in this form. Principal will be in percentage or anything. Time you know. Right. 
So in this first question, this one, you have to find first, uh, you have to find the amount, okay? To be paid at the end of three years, time is three years, right? In each case, principal is given, rate is given, right? And time is given. So you first you will find, what you will find first? Simple interest, yes? And then you will find the amount, clear? Yes, ma'am. Everybody? Yes or yes, no? Yes. yes. Okay, quickly do it and tell me the answer. Do the A1 first. First write given. Okay, what is given to you? Given, just write principal, this, rate, this, uh, and time, this. And then use the formula of simple interest and find.
Ma. Ma, what's the formula for finding rate? Rate is already given. No, I'm telling that uh, if they tell to find the rate in a question. In if, then what you will do? Other things would be given to you. You will just shift the numbers over there and you will find the rate. The formula okay. will be same, right? What you will do? If any one thing is missing, see, in case if they ask you to find rate, then they will give you simple interest, right? And the place of rate will be empty and you have to shift all the number on the left-hand side and find that, right? Nah. Done, ma'am. Okay, guys, you are also done. Oh, ma'am. Okay, okay, do it. Guys, now you are done. Should we discuss? Yes, ma'am. No, no, ma'am. Almost, ma'am. Almost. Okay, okay, okay. I'll wait.
मैम आई गोट वन थाउजेंड आई दिस सिंपल इंटरेस्ट Okay, let me do it. Okay. Hmm. So the formula was P. Sorry, P multiplied by R multiplied by T divided by hundred. Yes. So what was your P? Tell me. Your P was twelve hundred. Yes. Uh, my P. It was twelve hundred into twelve into three divided by one hundred. Once you multiply these things, what do you get? Cut the zeros hmm, of one hundred and one twenty. Hmm. Now we are having twelve multiplied by three. Twelve into twelve is equal to two hundred and forty-four into three, which is equal to seven hundred and thirty-two. Hmm. Sure. Let's just let me calculate it. One forty-four. Yes. Two thousand. Uh, I'm talking about simple interest right now. So what do you people got for simple interest? Because you are getting simple no, interest wrong. Um, in the eighth question, I wrote uh, the P S twelve thousand. So why twelve thousand? That's why I got simple interest wrong. Ma'am, I'll solve it again. Twelve hundred, <laughs> not twelve thousand. Ma'am, I'll solve it again. Yes, do it, guys. You got it now. You are somewhere near about, but I think little bit of one hundred forty-four. The the what is the answer, ma'am? What is the answer? Ah, uh, the answer I can't tell the answer right now. But you are one thousand something. I'm talking about ah uh, the total amount. Okay, I'm not talking about simple interest. I'm talking about the act the amount one. The amount is near about one thousand. But I think you did some calculation and check. That's why the answer is not correct. Just no, ma'am. I got one hundred thousand. I got one hundred thousand. One hundred and seventy-two thousand. Hmm. That's why. Right. A I got. Now four thousand no four hundred and thirty two. So for simple interest you got yes that's the correct answer four hundred and thirty two. Now after this you will find the amount because I think because you find the simple interest wrong automatically your amounts get wrong. Uh, Ma'am, what so is this? For a, I got it as four hundred and thirty two. Yes, so four hundred and thirty two is your simple interest. Now what you have to find you have to find the amount. Yes. Ma Amount, amount equal to plus simple interest. Hmm. So twelve thousand, twelve hundred plus four hundred and thirty-two. So what will be the answer? One sixty-two. Yes or no? Twelve hundred plus four hundred and thirty-two will give you one sixty-two. Yes, right? Guys, you got it. What to do and how to do? Uh, no. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Short. Should I repeat? Okay, ma'am. I'll uh, I'll repeat just to confirm. Okay, I'll repeat. Okay. So first thing was everything was given. Principal was given and all this. So first of all, you need to find the simple interest, right? The formula for simple interest is P multiplied by R multiplied by T divided by hundred. So P was twelve hundred, R was twelve, and T was three. So this two zeros got connect disconnected uh, uh, got uh, cutted with this two. So it is twelve multiplied by twelve multiplied by three. When you multiply this, you got four hundred and thirty two. Fine. Yes, Now in the second step, you have to find the amount. Okay, because in the question, what they are asking in the question itself, they are asking to find the amount. But the formula for amount is principal plus SI. 
that's why you first find out SI and now you are finding the principal, uh, the amount. So principal was, it was already given in the question, it was 1200. So 1200 and what was your SI? 432. So you will add it up and you will get the amount which is rupees 1632. Fine? Yes. Yes. Okay, quickly note it down who those who have done wrong and after that you will do the B part. Okay? Because B part is same ditto the first part, the copy paste, but the only the numbers are different. Okay? Done writing. No. Everybody has everybody has noted this down. The first question, first, for uh, the first part. No. Ma. Guys, the sheet. Um, yes, I already noted. Yes, okay, guys, done. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now quick. Oh my God, let's freeze. <laughs> okay. Now see this one, the same question is there, but the only thing is this principal interest, principal is different and your rate is different, right? So quickly do it and this time I don't want any mistake from all of you, fine? Quickly do it and then we'll do, fine? Fine, ma'am. No. Uh, could you repeat what we uh, question we have to solve? The second part. This B1. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm done. Ma'am, I'm also done. Let's just wait for guys. <laughs> 
okay Uh, guys done? No, no, guys. I'm almost, almost done. Yeah, quickly, quickly. We are only left with one minute. So. Mom, finish. So tell me the answer. What you people got? I got the answer mm -hmm. for simple interest as 1,125. Okay. And for amount, I got uh, 2,325. Huh? Mm -hmm. Ma'am, I, uh, mm -hmm. ma I got this uh, simple interest as 1,125. And the amount is 7,511. 7, ma'am, I got a simple interest rate. Yes. Okay, okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me, Tashin, you tell me. Yes, ma'am. I got, uh, as I got 1,125 mm -hmm. and my uh, amount is 8,625. Yes, mm -hmm. Tashin was correct. Tashin is only correct. Simple interest, everybody got correct, right? Which is 1,125. 1,125. And what was your principal? Uh, your principal was 7,500, right? So to find amount, you add both, right? So when you will add it, I ought to be getting 8,625. What happened to your calculation? Ma'am, huh? ma I divided ma'am, I divided 1,125 by 100, ma'am. Ma'am, 8,625. No, so your simple interest was correct, which is 1,125. Correct. Right? But when you have to find amount, you have to add principal interest and the simple interest. Sorry, principal. The principal was 7,500 and when you add 7,500 uh, with 1,125, you get 8,625. So why you people are getting something different apart from Tashin? No, ma'am. I got this uh, idea. I divided this uh, 1,125 by 100. Ah, that's why. Ma'am, for yeah, me... Like hmm? Ma'am, for me, I saw the ace principal and then I... Mm. Okay, so you will practice this again. I'll just give you the same question again. I'll give you all these three questions as a homework. Okay, so you will practice these questions again and you will try 10th and 11th and then in the next class we will discuss. Fine? Ma'am, can we also discuss what uh, uh, chapter we can learn next? Yes. Uh, I was planning to do the rational numbers. Uh, Ma'am, we can do algebraic expressions.